how are you? Thank you so Thank you. much. Hi. Welcome to Sea Villa. I'm Patricia. Sai. Nice to meet you, Patricia. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. We have some you. chill towels Hi. for you, Hi. meet your Welcome. team. Ah, thank oh you God. so much. Oh, yeah. It is so pretty. Look at this view. Mm. I can't wait to jump in. Wow. We need so many photos ASAP. Oh my God, I love an infinity pool. This villa is stunning. I can see the turquoise ocean. Honestly, looks like it belongs in Greece. It's an all white, super airy, beautiful architectural home. And all I keep thinking about is how everyone's freezing their butts off in New York. Okay, girls, is everybody here? If you'd like me to do the orientation, I'm not sure if you want to have some. Okay, let me go with you guys. You guys are like Wait, animals. Are Where are you? I got my bedroom already. <laughs> okay, I'm going in here. Done. Why are we sharing room? We're not like 12 years old. What the? F I have no idea. Wait, where's the the third bedroom? Maybe this one. Let's give this to Jenna. It's smaller and intimate. Uh, Uber. We take this one, honey. We take this one. Yeah, this is the one we want anyway, because we're right by the pool. Perfect. Why the f do we want to be upstairs? Which one? Oh, then this one, then this one. Oh, oh sh. <laughs> oh, I'm coming in here. Okay. Dave. Oh, this is a good one. Look at your bathroom. <gasps> we have a bidet. There's one more bedroom. She's not going to be happy. I don't care. You know, first come, first serve. I'm sorry, Jenna, but you don't get rewarded for going down early. So you get the sh room. <laughs> Oops. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Can I just have a mocktail? I'll do the Negroni, please. Yeah. Negroni? Yeah. I'm I'm trying hard to like be good and especially because we're going to Anguilla and I'm like, things need to like get put back into place. For a sort of beachy getaway? Do you know that I've never been on a girls' trip? <laughs> like not once. <laughs> It's like abject terror for me, and I'm not gonna be in a bathing suit. It's not happening. I'm literally gonna be like wearing like tweed pants and a laser at the pool. I think you might change though when you get like, when you, you get out of this harsh winter and get someplace that's nice and warm. You might. It's, it's warm on my skin. I feel like I'm like back in my California no bathing suit days. Does it still bother you after all this time? Is that why you don't want to do the bathing suit, bathing suit thing? Yeah, totally. I don't want to be on the in front of them. They all are gorgeous. <laughs> I'm not thinking it's the truth. A little, a, like, a little off the mark. With the genetic disorder that I have, incontinency of pigmenti, it affects the skin, the teeth, and the hair. So I have bald spots in the back of my head, and maybe one here. I have conicular teeth, and I'm missing, I'm missing quite a few. And I have uh, discolorations all over my skin. And I know it's a genetic disorder, like, but most people don't. And like people are like, oh, you're dirty, or like you have something on your skin, and it's like, oh, like I don't really want to, I don't actually want to deal with that. I still remember going to Knott's Berry Farm. I was like wearing shorts, standing in line, and some girl behind me going, ew, look at her skin. Oh. And I don't really want to do that on a vacation. Every summer, for as long as I can remember, I would like hibernate away from everybody else and get a tan. Because when I didn't, in the sun, it really looks magnified. And people were always saying to me, oh, what's on your skin? Or, oh, do you have a burn? So getting a tan kind of quiets the visual noise, and it makes me feel better. <laughs>